Uh, but let's talk about your stuff. We do a, a little thing here on the show. It's called Rock and Tell. And basically it's show and tell, but with rock memorabilia. And let's get to know you um, through your junk. <laughs> Man, it was hard to like randomly choose. Like I was talking about having boxes still. So I just was like, oh, there's this last box of, of memorabilia stuff that I haven't opened since we moved. So I was literally just like rooting through it and finding things. Um, I Okay, I... The first one's dangerous. It actually, Whoa. It, it cuts me every time I open it. So <laughs> I'm going to be careful picking this up. This is a wardrobe thing. Okay. All right. All right. So like, here we go. I wore this in our like self-titled. These are actual porcupine quills. Oh my gosh. And it was like, you know, like awesome, cool headdress, wild thingy. Nice. But it's so hard to keep it because these are way longer than you realize. Sure. Just, these are broken on one side, <laughs> just about it. but they're really long and they really do still not only cut you, but sting. So okay, I've opened well. this three different times and scratched myself. And I, I will tell you, I don't want to come across a porcupine in real life, a living one. It's hard enough just having this piece of a dead animal. Um, it, what, now, when you were wearing it during the, in your music video, I mean, did, were you getting poked on set as well or were you damaging other people? <laughs> not really. I mean, it was a photo shoot and, okay. um, no, it was pretty contained. So you have that on and you are automatically practicing social distancing, by the way. <laughs> That's right. Automatic ways to keep your people away from you and they'll know if they're not because they'll be injured. That's not really a good, we don't want to do that. No. Um, all right. This, this is more, okay, this is my tapes. Do you have Cassette tapes? tapes? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's not so much, well, it is memorabilia, actually. It's some of the coolest because I stuck with tapes way 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 longer than everybody else especially <laughs> since you know we were recording music and just doing it you know ourselves in our homes with whatever we can get our hands on we don't need money um so having tape recording capabilities that was usually how we um had that's how we had our first demos when we'd ever record anything in any way of course. It was a tape um that we'd make copies of i drew on this one myself this was oh, like wow. logo, but that's what all these are actually. They're not, um, they're all just like blank tapes with like me singing and ideas. And do you have a boom box? Do you have a cassette? Player? I would, I would love to. I was just thinking out I was pulling this. I was like, Oh, I don't have my tape deck set up. This was as vocals, 2001, 2002. It's probably something cool. Probably. Um, and then these things, all these little micro tapes. Oh, I remember those. Oh yeah. Because I would carry around a voice notes recorder all the time and like, record little vocal ideas because we didn't have an iphone now my iphone is so organized it's so full of all those things i can label them i don't need a pen i don't need to sit down and do stuff so anyway i got i got tapes i do but miss a good really, old mixtape a I know. road trip in a mixtape that's all we need folks i mean if you can get that six cd changer going after that no, that's fancy it's usually like stuck in the hour. trunk and so you have to pull over that's right that's what mine was why was it in the trunk the worst other than that, on the inside there was just a whole bunch of journals. I, I mean, I, I always keep like, um, you know, like a cool journal of lyrics, and it's usually like really random and scrappy. Of course, when I started out, it looked cooler because I had like more time and not a kid. Right. So I bound this in art class and like high school and like have all the lyrics for like writing "Fallen" in here. Really? Uh, oh, that's for my brother. Um. <laughs> This, yeah, is, I mean, this is a treasure. I mean, this is like rock and roll hall of fame stuff. That's like yeah. where they like put it behind plexiglass. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a big bucket. This one's funny because you can tell like my mom bought this crappy diary and it's all like nerdy looking and I put a Luke Skywalker sticker on it. It's like <laughs> talking about history and anatomy homework and then on the next page is like lyrics to some song. So I got a lot of lyric books. Oh, and then yeah, okay, wait, wait one more, one more. Because this is a lyric book that I'm working on, that I'm using now. For the bitter truth and since we were talking about the new okay. album i totally always sketch out the album cover before we do it and i did let's see it i'm looking oh here i mean it looks better now but beautiful though wow did. my husband shot it um we were here and i was like this is what i want to do I sketched it out now let's go sharpie some mints and make it look like a pill oh my god <laughs> yeah exactly now to the toolbox where's our exacto <laughs> knife Totally. Well, I mean, I love it. Thank you so much for sharing all of your goodies with us. Um, let's remind everyone, the PSA uh, and the organization, it is called Headcount. 
Headcount.org. And you can find out the information. Yeah, headcount.org or usemyvoice.org, right? Yeah, totally. And uh, if you go there and you use it to just check your registration or whatever else, then you get access to see us do like a private online performance in October. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. That's just really figure out how we're going to do that. We'll find a way. Awesome. Um, the new album, it is called The Bitter Truth. The latest single, Use My Voice. I think we got everything in there. I think, I think we can all now stalk you appropriately. Thank you very much. Please do so. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you around. Take care and be safe. Right. Okay? Thanks so much, Amy. Bye. Bye.